I'm Jeff Corwin. Join me on a journey of discovery. This is Expedition Chesapeake. I have traveled the planet, exploring natural environments. But this may be the most important journey of my career as a wildlife biologist. Discovering the connections between people, plants, animals, and our most critical natural resource, water. And this journey of discovery has led Jeff Corwin to visit other watersheds around the country, including right here at home, Galveston Bay. And you have a chance to explore the bay with Jeff tomorrow. Here with all the details is Jerry Hamachek, of course, with Moody Gardens and biologist and wildlife conservatist, Jeff Corwin. Welcome. Thank you. Hi so nice Thanks to for be being here. here. Um, Jeff, this is really fascinating. I'm, I'm a, we both are huge fans of your work and, and your, um, your documentaries that you do. For us, when we talk about Galveston Bay, of course, right in our backyard, by 20 35 it's estimated that we'll have an additional you know three million people living here that's going to be very taxing on our bay and to have that future i mean that's as that's astounding when i hear that and uh we need to do something about that well it's finding a way for people to live sustainably with the environments that they depend upon right so right now you have eight million people yeah. that have a direct connection to galveston bay which is one of the most important estuaries and aquatic ecosystems in North America. A lot of people don't realize that Galveston Bay is the seventh largest estuary in the United States. So it's critical not only for industry, as we know that's here, commercial and recreational fishing, but it's also very important because Galveston Bay is nature's aquatic nursery for the next generation of fish that we're all going to depend upon. There are some people out there who may have the mindset, Jeff and Jerry, that, oh, I don't live that close to the bay. What I do doesn't matter. But the reality is, even if you're not living on the bay, the actions that each one of us takes every single day, it can damage our ecosystem. Talk a little bit about that, because part of the, the mission of this film is just to raise awareness, right? Well, that, that was the whole mission behind Expedition Chesapeake. So this is a large format film. It's a, spe it's a spectacle. It's in the IMAX style of, of production. And we spent almost 10 years bringing it to fruition to get it to germinate. But basically, it uses the veneer of en adventure, exploration, fun, and discovery to tell the serious state of this incredible, important body of water. So, so Galveston Bay is the seventh largest. The Chesapeake is the biggest mm -hmm. in North America. It's fed by 150 individual rivers. It's 200 miles long. It begins in the Susquehanna and the back of uh, New York. Over 15 million people have a direct connection to this bay. People love it, but they also um, don't appreciate it and they don't take care of it. So, for example, we talk about oysters. We were talking about that earlier. Something as simple as an oyster like this, we don't realize that not only in the Chesapeake, but here in your bay, and Galveston Bay, this is the building block of life. This is what prevents erosion. This is the stepping stone for other creatures to survive. One oyster like this siphons 30 gallons of water per day. All the oysters that live in Galveston Bay at their historical peak of survival would siphon through the entire bay of water wow. in one year. Unbelievable. But that perfor performs a service. Yeah. It's actually cleaning the Filtering bay. Filtering the, the bay. So if you went to the Chesapeake 100 years ago, it was gin clear. It was, you know, we talked about Tito's and the power of alcohol. <laughs> right. um, I mean, it was translucent. You could see through it. Today, you don't have that, um, uh, that visibility as you did before. What's so great is uh, tomorrow you have three screenings at Moody Gardens and Jerry. This, this, the, the IMAX will be playing there for for quite some time. But yes. the three screenings is which we can take part in a conversation with Jeff, right? Yes. So at 12:30, 3 o'clock, and 7 p.m. on Saturday, you can meet Jeff and you can learn more about our bay. You can see this amazing film. It's also spring break, so just come down to the island, hang out. It's going to be beautiful weather enjoy everything that we have and um, kick your spring break off in a great way and have fun 
learn something. That's kind of what we do at Moody Gardens. So we hope that you guys will come down and, and do that with us. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's one of our favorite spots. This is just one of many films you can go and see or things to experience at Moody Gardens. We should mention that, Jeff, your cruise around the bay is now sold out due it to is popular sold demand. <laughs> but have no fear. You're going to be back at some point in the future. But I think it really is great that people can go and see this film and then do the Q&A afterward with you. Because I'm sure that as you've done this around the country, a lot of viewers, their eyes have been opened. Well, I think we are really at a very fundamental period of our country and our planet. I just came from Australia about a week ago. Oh. Cool. So um, a third of Australia's wildlife is gone. Uh, a third of their national parks has been scorched. Imagine if you went to Yellowstone and a third of Yellowstone was gone. Their Yellowstone, their most pinnacle Blue Ribbon Park, yeah. the Blue Mountains, 90% of it has been scorched. 12 species have been pushed to extinction. We see these stories happening around the world. We know in our own country we've faced devastation with the, with the oil spill from deep, deep water horizon. We are at a time where we are now the last generation we really are the last generation of human beings who will determine what the next generation will have in their natural legacy. Everyone should keep in mind that today, despite all our technology, our understanding with science, our sense of stewardship, we have consumed in the last 40 years as a planet, as a species on this planet, we've consumed 65% of all life. 70% um, of all the birds around the world from Galveston to India to where I live on a little island off New England have plastics in them. Mm -hmm. So we need to think about how we look at climate change. I just was at a glacier in Greenland, the most important reservoir of fresh water in that part of the world. Every day from climate change, it loses enough water every day to supply New York City with the fresh water it consumes in a year. So we have changed our planet dramatically. It's not too late. But now is a chance, and I think that's why Moody Gardens is so important, this film is so important, because it's a way to connect families and their children to resources, because you can't protect what you do not love, and you'll never love it if you never get to meet it. Absolutely, you gotta get in there, and the best place to do that, of course, is right in our backyard, Moody Gardens, and you have the um, Under the Sea, the aquatic adventure uh, as well. Yeah, so uh, several new things going on. In addition to Expedition Chesapeake, we have Aquaman 4D. <laughs> Uh, we also have Ancient Caves, a new film. We have our Moody Gardens Golf Course, if you want to get out and enjoy uh, some golf. It's and perfect. That's weather. one of the most highly rated courses in America, right? That's in, uh, well, in Texas, I think we just ranked number six. Um, so, Not bad. yeah. So. Jerry, is that you in the tub I saw? Oh, yes. 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 Yeah, it is. Very relaxing. <laughs> I'm going to go do that after this. And also, <laughs> inside the pyramids as well, my, when my mom and I last came down, it's so great to go inside the pyramids. You see wildlife, birds from all over the place, the beautiful vegetation. And like you just said, Jeff, how do you love it if you don't know it, if you haven't experienced it up close? And Moody Gardens is such a great place to do that. And Derek, that's really the connection. So you go to a place like that pyramid to see rainforest, some kid from Texas, from Galveston to Houston is going to make that important stewardship connection. We lose 3,000 acres of rainforest every hour. That's a mass trees, plants, and animals, a third of the size of Texas, scraped off our planet every wow. year. What do we pay for? You know, we pay a price for that because rainforest contains 70% of all life. Again, you can look at it more than just the aesthetics. These are resources that our children will need. 70% of all life. And if you looked at our earth the size of a postage stamp, why does that matter? Well, 60% of the medicines we use yep. to fight everything from cancer to AIDS begins as a chemical in a rainforest plant. Jeff, thank you so much for stopping by and for your work. Jerry, great to see you as well. Thank you. Yeah, let's keep it up. Let's raise our awareness about what's going on on the planet. And guys, if you'd like to plan your next trip to Moody Gardens, you can visit moodygardens.org or you can call 409-744-4673. We'll be right back.